Hi everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico from GRSchoolVet and Polly.com. This is Serafina. She was brought to us about a week ago. She was found dragging herself across the road. When she came to us, she had quite a few injuries. Um, actually, anytime you get a very small animal who's been hit by a car, you have to worry about the internal stuff more than we worry about the orthopedic skeletal stuff. Um, she literally, she was a stray cat that someone found dragging herself across the road. So we did a very quick assessment of her to try to understand what was wrong. So we did x-rays and an exam. She had a broken tail. She has a broken femur and she had her chin of all. So her chin had literally been kind of, the skin had been pulled off of the mandible. So the skin was hanging below her mandible. She was put in a cage overnight to see if she was going to live and to see if we could find the owner. Um, and she was given pain medication and, and just sort of stabilized. She did very well overnight. She woke up the next morning happy and purring. So we have kept her in a cage for the last couple of days on pain medicine, antibiotics. We dewormed her, we tested her for feline leukemia and FIV, and then we've been looking for her owners the whole time. She, like we suspected, uh, has not had anyone come forward. She probably was a barn cat and someone, although they were probably feeding her, just doesn't love her enough to come and claim her. So today I, I put her lip back on her mandible. So um, she's got stints in here holding it and then we had to reattach that tissue to the bottom part of her mandible, really so that she can more functionally eat and be comfortable. She was starting to collect hair in her mouth um, and the, when tissue heals, it start, starts to contract. So it was pulling her chin down. So we had to put it back in place. That was a, the big thing for today. She has a very broken femur. So this is the femur. It runs from her knee to her hip. She has a very large callus now, um, and there's quite a few pieces in that bone. I, I woke up this morning prepared to pin her leg to see if I could fix it, but the callus is so big and the and she's so young that her bones are trying to heal so fast that I probably would be, do more damage than, than anything else. It, her leg is functional. We didn't know the first couple of days if it was, but she can move this toe and this foot. So that means that her nerves from her feet are talking to her brain and kind of vice versa. That's the most important thing. If you don't have the nerves intact, then it really sort of becomes a dead lifeless limb. And then we talk about amputating. We get a lot of these guys, we get a lot of kittens who sort of have no, nowhere else to go and we manage them on a, on a shoestring budget. So for those of you interested in her, we're helping her. We are certainly looking for help and support. You can find us here at Jared's Velvet. Uh, for those of you who have a kitten who might have met a similar kind of fate or circumstance, I will tell you, put them in a cage. It is imperative they stay in a cage. So just a litter box, her food and water, and that's it. She really can't move because she's got also multiple pelvic fractures. So she is literally sort of lying on litter and um, and we are bringing some soupy food to her, which has really done wonders. But she has made great progress. She is now purring, she's sitting up, she's using her back legs, and we are just going to keep her on crate rest for probably another three to four weeks and then she should be good to go. Her bone will probably heal, um, not in a straight line, but and it will be a little shortened. But honestly, if you keep these guys in good shape, they will do fine. The other thing that's super important to mention is they absolutely need to be spayed. Because she's got pelvic fractures, she would not be able to have babies that passed through her pelvic canal normally. So we are going to spay her probably in two months or so. Um, but for right now, it's making sure that her chin heals, making sure that her spine, um, the pelvis fractures are, there's no weight or there's no um, trauma to them, and then letting her bones heal. But so far, so good. Kittens are miraculous. They really will heal if you give them a chance. If you have any questions about trauma in kittens or anything else pet related, you can find me at Jared's Little Bit or go to pobbly.com and you can ask a free question. Wish her luck. Thanks. Take care, everyone. Bye.